Always nice to see you, my friend. Likewise, uh, likewise, sincerely. I gotta admit, I'm kind of relieved because when I heard you were starring in a Tetris movie, I immediately pictured you like running around in a green screen, dodging like bricks falling from the sky. I'm this doing is- that next. That's next. <laughs> I signed that deal when I signed this one. Yeah, I didn't want to do it, but that I've got to do that. Matthew's gonna make me do that next. It, it, it's a twofer. Have you it's got? Am I, am I alone? Am I alone, or have you gotten that a lot? What, uh, no, that's sort of slightly different iterations of it, but I think that's you know, you know, the movie's called Tetris in big yeah. bold font, so you can understand why people think that it may be a more traditional video game type movie. But um, no, it's more of a it's just, it's a Cold War thriller, I suppose, more than more than it is a video game movie. I mean, there's literally like a Super Mario's brother, Super Mario Brothers, and Dungeons and Dragons movie coming out like within the next month. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 a few days. Super Mario. Although I do look a bit like Super Mario in it, don't I? <laughs> the, the, it's an impressive stash. Maybe the most it. impressive stash you you you've had yet. Thanks very great. much. I appreciate uh, you uh, acknowledging that. The movie's great, man. You are you are great in it. I really Thanks, dug man. it. Like it, it it sucks you in right from the start. Kind of like the game of Tetris. I gotta tell you, man. It's it's really it's a really great piece of great piece of work. No thanks. Most, most people, I think, at, at least of a certain age, have played Tetris, but but most people probably do not know its bonkers ass backstory. How how did you react when you first found out the full story? Well, like, yeah, I could you know I I couldn't because I knew the game had played the game a bit when I was young but didn't know the story and sort of couldn't believe that no one had made a movie out of it already to be honest um and that seemed a really good reason to make the movie Matthew sent me the script during the first lockdown and I found it to be a very compulsive read and I really 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 liked the character of Hank at the center of it just this kind of puppyish charismatic um dogged person um and so yeah i signed up to go along for the ride i won't ask you like how how true is this story because that's i mean it's probably impossible to quantify but what what is something that happens in this movie that people are going to think you guys made up but actually actually went down in real life i mean all, but, but pretty much all of it i mean aside from the chase at the end it 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 really did all happen and the sense of jeopardy and danger at the time in terms of being you but in terms of being behind the iron curtain just before the fall of the berlin wall and you know what was happening across the um across the block at that time you know i think it was a dangerous place to be so um all of it really yeah, yeah. hank rogers is like i agree such a, such a great character He's he's on the hustle right from start to finish. Like yeah. the, like he, the man is running around like a madman over the world, determined, resolute, stre- stressed, very desperate. Obviously, at points, could you relate to that grind uh, as an actor? Like you know, especially when you you were starting out, did it feel like kind of like a hustle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for sure. I think any very few actors don't relate. I th- you know, I think all actors that I've spoken to relate to that sense of it being a real hustle when you first start out. And, mm-hmm. you know, people used to attend auditions, but now I think it's changed. I think everything happens over, it happens down a sort of, you know, the the lens of your MacBook Pro or whatever now, you know, or to your iPhone. And, um, but that time for me, you know, when I first left drama school, I do remember that feeling like a hustle. But, you know, I was lucky. I, math you know i got that kingsman role very early on i remember going to audition for matthew and that meant that i was had a slightly easier ride of it from from there on out because it it was a it was great exposure um but yeah i like that about hank i like the fact that you know he's one of those people that no matter how many times you knock him down he keeps getting better back up you know we 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 love people like that right uh ready for my deep question here okay let's do it man what actor inspires you most in your industry? Wow. I mean, oh, wow. I mean, I think, like, I really like the performances that you feel that. So there are tremendous actors who give incredible performances, but there's a sort of like a, they're more like a study and you kind of feel like you're outside of them. 
And mm. I really like the actors who are really accessible and really, you really empathize with and you really, uh, you're really, you can't help but like them even when they're doing things that maybe aren't the best. And mm. so someone like Philip Seymour Hoffman, I think was the master of that. And, yeah. you know, you watch him in The Master and he's, in my opinion, <laughs> very misguided, very manipulative, um, quite calculated, quite messed up, but you, 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 you're so with him. Um, and it's kind of a, I'm struggling to articulate what that quality is because it, it's, it's, it's sort of quite hard to define, I think, but I really like actors who are, who, who have that ability to let you inside. Coincidentally, in that movie, he's opposite Wacky and Phoenix, and I think he has it as well. Mm -hmm. um, um, like younger actors, you know, like I think Barry Keoghan has it as well, that thing of being able to do something that's very complex and maybe not that relatable or likable, but you are, you do relate and you do, you, you, you do like them, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So th those are the actors I most admire, but quite wh how you define that quality, I I don't really know what it is, but I can recognize it from one to another, you know? That special sauce. Yeah, PCH, the master. He was the master. He was amazing. What a, what yeah. a, what a terrible loss that was. We got through a whole interview without mention, without me bringing up the Wolverine, man. We're like, we're- Hey, man. We're, we're getting places. We're getting places. That's development <laughs> right there. <laughs> Always great, to, always great to see you, Terry, man. Kevin, yeah. it's always, honestly, it's a, it, I really mean it. It's always lovely to see you too, man. I hope it's in person one of these days. Yes, me too, me too. All right, mate. Take care. Bye, dude.